Hi, and welcome to Yefit Adventures. My name's Darren, and this channel is about backpacking, hiking, gear reviews, and finding your next adventure. In today's video, we're here at beautiful Lake Tahoe at the Dollar Point Pier and Beach. We're doing some crawdad fishing, so come join us. All right, so let's go over the supplies that you're going to be needing for this uh, adventure. So crawdad fishing, there's a, multiple ways, there's lots of ways you can fish for crawdads. But some of my favorite, there are three. The first one is you could wade out into the lake, maybe one or two feet, flip over some rocks, and grab them out of the water. The second way is we have what is kind of like a crawdad trap or a crab track where you throw some leftover meat, bones, it could be beef bone, chicken bone, anything that's smelly into the trap. You throw it overnight and in the morning you'll have a ton of crawdads. You, you may, might want to put it out maybe uh, 50 yards or you know as far as you can get it out. You tie a line and then anchor it to the shore. The third way today that I'm going to show you is we are uh, fishing from the pier. It's one of my kids' favorite ways. Is so the supplies you'll need is some kind of stick or you know fishing pole. You may or may not need it, but it's something that they can hold on. You can anchor it to the pier so you don't. If you drop the stick in the water or whatever, it's something that can be easily picked up. You'll need some kind of cordage. It can be. Uh, is light or heavyweight. I've used paracord. You can use kite string, fishing line, anything really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you probably want about 10 to 20 feet of line depending on how deep the water is. As far as bait, as I mentioned before, any kind of smelly meat. Today we are uh, using some spicy salami. But in the past, I've used, um, you know, any type of lunch meat. Uh, they really like bacon. Um, I've used dog food, cat food, you know, put it in a sock or some kind of pantyhose so that it permeates in the water, which will attract the crawdads. Um, and then you'll need some kind of weight. So what my kids will do, well, they'll go along the beach and they'll find a rock. It has to be flat and long enough so that you can wrap a string or uh, tie it around. And what I like to do is I'll wrap the piece of meat or whatever around the rock, usually a couple layers of meat because once the crawdads get to it, they'll kind of chew and tear it up. So over time, it'll get smaller and smaller. But um, those are the supplies that you'll need. You don't need a hook, you don't need a bobber. It's really simple, so let's get to it. Cheese. Let's see. Where should I drop it? Either side. Okay. Either side. Don't handle the string. It's not going to go to the bottom. Wait. When it's going down. Oh, I have to do it anyway. I'll go find one. I'll just rely on the little fish. Keep an eye on if there's any crawdads, okay? Okay. If you see some orange, tell me, okay? Okay. If it's over there, there, or a little bit farther, tell me. So, when... First catch, a little buddy, little one. All right. Okay, don't fish too close or you're gonna get tangled. Stand up. In 
These are the perfect uh, fishing conditions right now. Cool temperatures in the 60s. You want to go out early in the morning. It's about you know eight or nine. You can go earlier when before the boats start coming out to the lake. Um, you want to fish when it's calm um, and cool. And uh, these are great temperatures. The lake's perfect. Oh, uh, as far as you know, the best places to catch the crawdads is when you look down in the water, you'll see clusters of rocks and they love to hide in the rocks. So my suggestion is to um, find a place where you can uh, drop a line right near the rocks and it'll attract all the crawdads and it's a great, uh, great way to catch them. So once the crawdads see and smell that fleshy meat in the water, they'll be attracted to it, they'll crawl over, they'll, they'll grab it, start, you want it to them to start biting it or clawing it. Once they grab hold of that meat, you slowly raise it up, slowly up to the surface. Once you break the water, you stand up and lift it over onto the pier. You can either drop it in the bucket, put it on the pier, pick it up by hand, whatever you like to do. Amber and Joe are going to share some tips on how to catch crawdads. First, you have to be patient. Second, you, you take it, you find a block. And third, you get a stick. And fourth, you put it where there's lots of rocks. And and also pull up a little bit slow so they don't jump off. And that's all. Oops. And you put your meat in the in an open clearing so that the crawdads won't bump into rocks and fall off. Right. But Here's they what we've caught so far. They're over here. And six. No, yours has ten. No, six. Great technique to catch crawdads. Put the string in and touch them without being pinched. All right. And what and do you use for bait? Salami. Salami. And this is your fishing stick. It's a nice fishing stick. And I like to touch. To pull their, their antennas. Oh, okay. Next time you grab one, oh, show me you pick it up, okay? Okay. All right, so we've been here out here for about an hour now. We've caught about 20 crawdads altogether. The kids have uh, got some great tips on how to catch crawdads. I used to catch crawdads here when I was a kid, all sorts of ways. Oh, they, they like uh, bacon and hot dogs um, and all types of smelly meat. All you need is some string and a rock, a weight to weight it down, um, and you're good to go. I want to thank you for watching You Fit Adventures. If you like more content like this, please like and subscribe. It helps me grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care, be well. Let's find your next adventure. Alright, here's our daily catch, and I'm going to show you how you eat a craw crawdad. See? This is a little baby one. So you grab the body here and the tail, and you wiggle it like this. Get a little closer shot. There you go. So you see the body. And this is all you got left is a little tail. Spread out the tail. And then you crack it. Like so, a little bit, and just spread it apart. And then you can pull the little meat out here. Slowly. Left there.
shot. All he got left is the tail. All right. Mm. I, I know. I you can dip it in garlic and butter or garlic salt. Which one really first to pause it? And all you do is boil it for about three minutes, three, three to five minutes. All right.